Okay. What's up, guys? Hello. Yeah, what's up, guys? Today I'm going to teach you how to port Siri to the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch, and, um, you know, a couple other devices, but not the iPad. <clears throat> so, do not port this to the iPad because it will mess up your iPad. Right. So, um, th in this tweak, it will not mess up your iPhone at all. Because it has a respring loop fix. Like, as you may know, there's a few problems with the um, tweak. Before, it has a respring, respring loop, and you can't turn your iPhone back on. <coughs> so now this is fixed on a new, brand new source from my repo space. So, you want to go in Cydia? Oops. Go Cydia. Let's wait for that to load. <clears throat> Alright, so it's just downloading these packages and stuff like that. So we'll wait for it to finish. Mm. Sorry for the long wait, guys. Sorry. Um. All right. So it is reloading the air right now. So yeah. This tweak is really simple, and it also activates in the settings. All right. Finally, we have finally um finished reloading, and this is the pack the source you want to add. Go to go edit, and and you want to add Cydia. Studio.mylipospace.com forward slash I with the capital capital P and KG and forward slash again and then click add source. But no, I already added the source. So capture. When you've added that source, you want to go into the source you just added right here. Scroll down until you find the S and it says Siri with V.3 update fix respring loop. So again it works for the I'll just read it out. Um, it works for the iPhone 4, iPhone 4 CDMA version 2. So yeah. Alright. Um this you know you can read through all this if you want. Alright, so here it is. Oh, actually, um, forget what I said about the iPad. It actually works for the iPad one, but not two, because it can't even be Java open there. So iPhone four, iPhone four CDMA, iPhone three DS, Apple Touch Fourth Gen, and iPad one. So you want to install this package, like what I'm doing right now, and there will no be, there will not be a respring loop. So you can just watch and just look. No respring loop. And you see it says downloading Siri version 3 update fix fix respring loop. So yeah. This is a very quick video. Um and now it is reloading data, respring after installing. So yeah. And as you can see it doesn't say reboot device, it says return to Sega. That is how the update works, and when once you've done that, I think you go to settings. You can add Cydia first, All right? Once you've ex exit it, you want to go down. All right, you want to go down, and there will be Siri. You tap on that and Siri should be enabled. So now you can try Siri. Should work. Mine's kind of messed up. But trust me guys, it'll work. Because I just uninstalled it and reinstalled it and I haven't respringed it yet. 
but guys just respring and it'll it should work for the first time so guys hope you enjoy the Siri and remember it's just a GUI you can't really talk to it yet so see ya